Let's continue on in the NBA. The Celtics got off to a rough start against the Cavs in game one of the East Finals. Could never catch up. Isaiah Thomas, though, still optimistic going into game two. Listen to this. I'm very confident. Like, why, why is that? Because I am. I believe in these guys. Like, we're not scared of the Cleveland. They're not the Monstars. They're not a Space Jam. <laughs> like, they, they lace up their shoes just like us. They just happen to play better than us in game one. And we just got to protect home court in game two and get the win. Let's talk about Isaiah Thomas. He did have 10 assists in a game one loss, but really kind of struggled shooting the ball. Tim, what do you think the biggest adjustment IT needs to make going into game two? I think he needs to come out in the first quarter and try to get buckets. Uh, I, I think he does a job where every leader should try to be concerned about getting guys going, but he needs to come into this game looking to try to score buckets, like trying to set a tone early. Go out there and get 17 points in the first quarter. We always see him in the fourth quarter putting up these big numbers. You want to know why? Because he's trying to go get buckets in the fourth <laughs> quarter. Like, he needs to set a tone as the best player that we can't fall behind by double digits. Like, he comes out there. I'm not saying he's lollygagging, but he's concerned about getting Al Horford a good look. Yeah. Making sure Avery Bradley gets in the flow a little bit. And that's all well and nice. But then when you're down 32-19, you're down double digits. Problem. Yes. So I think it's important that he sets a fourth quarter tone in the first quarter. Because a lot of those shots were kind of off balance. He was trying to get in the lane and maybe kick it out to somebody. Uh-uh. Forget to somebody. You get yourself going. You get your team going. You set a tone early in the first quarter. Yeah, the same mentality that he has in the fourth start off the game with that mentality because I feel like the team will feed off him. If he's going out there and scoring, the team will feed off him, and then that will make everybody else right. energized to play more defense. Jake Crowder might be able to lock down a little bit more. Avery Bradley might be able to lock down a little bit more. Whereas when – the offense is not flowing. You're kind of out of sorts, and then everything, you know, is out of whack, so to speak. And I don't know if he really needs to get other guys involved. He's the guy. So start off scoring, and that will help your team. He's seen so many different adjustments, though, over the course of these playoffs, Isaiah Thomas. Has. For sure. How teams are going to guard him, if they're going to double-team him, if they're going to let his guys kind of make them beat him, the A.V. Bradleys, the Al Horford to the world. So it's been hard for him because he walks out on the court. He's like, all right, what am I going to see today? So I think it's important to establish he goes out there, gets buckets, and now he puts pressure on the defense to take the ball out of his hands. So, like, don't be worried about getting those guys going. Get yourself going and then make the defense adjust and then make that next adjustment as far as finding your team. Game two Friday night in Boston. We'll see if the Celtics can even up the series.